What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another search engine optimization tip video. In today's tip video, I'll actually be doing a review of WP Rocket and how this plugin can help with your site speed optimization efforts for your website. So for those of you who may be unfamiliar, WP Rocket is a caching plugin that's available for WordPress. And it basically helps to make your website load and have better page speed performance measures. This is especially important as Google is now ranking or factoring in how quickly a site loads into its search algorithm. And it'll actually be launching um, a Web Core Vitals algorithm update in May, which is going to be significant. Usually Google doesn't pre-announce changes to its algorithm, let alone what the changes are going to be. So you really want to make sure that your page speed performance is up to date and up to par for your website um, before this algorithm hits in May. And WP Rocket is my favorite caching plugin for this measure. Before, my website used to take seven or eight seconds to load, which was abysmal. And so I had a really big priority last year to make sure that my page is loading more quickly. So I changed over to like a new framework for my website. I switched over to a dedicated server instead of a shared server hosting plan like a SiteGround, for example, or Bluehost. And I also used WP Rocket to help improve those speed measures even more. So, in this dashboard, you'll see all the different features that WP Rocket has. So we can start with the caching basic options. So you can enable mobile caching to help speed up your site for mobile visitors. This part isn't super helpful because a lot of websites have adopted uh, responsive design, especially for WordPress themes. But if you have a separate theme, specifically for mobile versus desktop, then you can enable this caching for mobile devices. The biggest bread and butter is file optimization. So CSS, JavaScript, and somewhat HTML files, but mainly CSS and JavaScript eat up a lot of uh, resources on your page. They're more intensive and can lead to hundreds of kilobytes or even megabytes for your page. And so you want to make sure that these two types of code are optimized as best as can be. So you can use WP Rocket to minify or combine um, CSS and JavaScript files. You can also delay JavaScript execution and defer it. And these two measures can help improve load time or that perceived performance from users. So even if it's not affecting the actual improvement of load time to a user, it may appear that your page is loading quicker. So this will help to reduce bounce rate and encourage them to spend more time on your page as they're scrolling through content, making sure that it's loading quickly as it scrolls in the frame. In that same end, WP Rocket will also optimize your images. So you can enable lazy loading to help improve the perceived load time so that these types of um, images and iframes and videos will be loaded only as they enter the viewport of your page. You can also add missing width and height attribution to images, and this will help prevent layout shifts, which is a, another factor that Google is considering as part of its web core vitals. You can also do a lot of preloading, so preloading your cache, any links to help again improve that perceived load time and also just get your pages loading more quickly. You can set a bunch of advanced rules, which I don't really do. I don't have a need to, but they're there if uh, you want to add more functionality using the plugin. WP Rocket will also help to improve your database, make sure that you don't have unnecessary bloat that is hindering your site load times. Whether it's looking to delete any like post revisions and drafts 
you haven't used, any spam or trash comments, um, transient files, or just any overhead uh, database tables. And you can set this to just automatically clean, whether on a monthly or a uh, predetermined time frame. A couple of other features. You can use WP Rocket to integrate with uh, CDNs. So content delivery networks are very important for page performance. So you should be using one on your website if you don't have one already. Um, one of the most popular ones would be Cloudflare. But WP Rocket also offers its Rocket CDN. And so you have unlimited bandwidth as part of, it, of its content delivery network, which is super great. Uh, I actually used Rocket CDN for uh, about a year last year before switching over to a different one with my uh, other hosting provider. But I did see some good benefit opting in for just eight bucks a month for their CDN. A couple other cool things too, it has some additional add-ons or integrations. So with a lot of websites, um, tracking codes and tracking IDs really hurt as far as enabling your site to load quickly. So if you have like a bunch of Google Tag containers or using like Google Tag Manager, having a bunch of unnecessary files that are unoptimized will hinder load times. And so WP Rocket will help to improve the caching for any of these tracking uh, features, such as Google Analytics or Facebook Pixel. And again, you can integrate with uh, Cloudflare or like Securi, which is neat. And there's some other cool tools. So you can ex uh, export the download settings or import settings, roll back to previous versions if you're having any issues. Or again, optimizing that CSS delivery. Uh, can't talk. Delivery for mobile. Um, and just to give a quick look as far as um, one of my individual pages and its performance using WP Rocket. I was sitting at a maybe a 60 out of 100 score prior to using WP Rocket. And now I am at a 95 score on mobile and about a 98 on desktop. Because Google is really moving toward mobile indexing only, that's the main score you want to look at for your uh, page speed performance is mobile. But just getting up to this number is huge. It's a big win. Majority of websites don't ever get into the green. So being able to just install WP Rocket onto my website and see that performance is great. And it's really simple. Again, you can enable a lot of these options, but a lot of them come pre-clicked. All I have to do is just uh, download the plugin to your web website and then toggle some of the options. It takes maybe about three minutes. But to see such a positive impact with such a little commitment or even just knowledge for um, web core vitals and just the technical aspects of page speed optimization for SEO. It's huge. Also wanted to show my score using uh, GT metrics, another page speed reporting tool. So pretty solid there. And as far as like how WP Rocket stacks up to a couple of other caching plugins, I've used several different ones. And I would say WP Rocket takes the cake bar none as the best of the four or five that I've tried in the past. Having said that, there are um, two little limitations with using WP Rocket. Um, the first is that it's not an image optimization plugin, so you'd have to use a separate plugin for that on your website. Make sure that your images are um, downsized properly and not eating up a lot of um, space on your website as far as the file size. So you could use something like Imagify as an alternative to couple with WP Rocket. And then the other thing, like I had mentioned, you know, this is an amazing caching plugin, but you also need to consider the overall grand scheme of your website and making sure that it's hitting all the bases as far as uh, page load performance. So if you have a very slow hosting network, 
then you know you could include this caching plugin, but it's not going to help you because your host is so slow. That's why I recommend going to like a dedicated host. And also just adopting a light and quick framework for your website. So I use Oxygen. Compared to like something I used to use Divi, and that really hurt my load time on my website. Because it's a useful tool for, you know, page design for people with no experience. But with that in mind, it's just so bloated as far as a coding framework goes that it's just hard to load very quickly when you're using a bloated framework like that or even Elementor. And as far as pricing for WP Rocket, a lot of the alternatives that I have used were free, but you do have to pay for WP Rocket. It is about $60 a year for a single website, and you can opt into other plans with WP Rocket. So if you wanted to use like um, this caching plugin for unlimited amount of websites, I believe the pricing goes up to 240 a year. If you wanted to use it for two to three websites, about 120 a year. So not a very steep investment for the uh, performance that I'm getting. So I'm happy to basically use and pay for this plugin. Definitely worth it. And then you can also use this plugin. Um, has no problem operating on subdomains as well. So it'll affect your entire root domain for your website, which is great. But having said that, hopefully you found this review to be helpful. If you did, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all for the next search engine optimization tip video.